the storm of gaining be with you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Storm Striker SX9 here with another Storm Singularity video. The next game that I will be doing is a Shadow Drop as well. This game came out back in 2009. I will show you what it is now. Yes, I'm talking to you in a dark room once again. All right, what is the game? The game is called Section 8. Remember this game, guys? This game released for the Xbox 360 and games for Windows for PC. This was around Windows Vista just going into Windows 7. That's when this game came out, 2009. This game is by Timegate and South Peak Games. This game was also made on Unreal Engine 3 as well. So, this game is rated T for Teen. Got a lot of action in it. It's a first-person shooter as well. And by the look of the title of, or the cover of this game, it almost looks similar to Metroid Prime, doesn't it? Almost similar, except you're playing as a guy, not a girl in this. But yeah, again, this game is called Section 8. And there is another version of this game called Section 8 Prejudice, which is also on Windows Live and Xbox 360 as well. Uh, I believe that this game only came out for PC and Xbox at the time. I did not see it for PS3 at all. If it is on the PS3, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, Section 8. This will be a fun one. I will be playing this casually with Game Overs and Deaths included. And there will be a lot of action included. I did hear that this game is a bit difficult at times as well. I did see videos and stuff on this game left and right um this is also a forgotten game now too in some places um as this game this is one of the games that was actually delisted off of the xbox store and it was on steam at one point as well and got delisted off of steam as well so the only way you could find this game for pc now is on my abandonware website and for consoles like the Xbox 360, you may have to go to your local GameStop or retro store to find a co physical copy for this game. Maybe even eBay and Amazon will have it physical copy. And in order to play this, you will need an Xbox 360 because I don't think this game is compatible with an Xbox One. So yeah, there's that too. Um... So let's get down to it, shall we? This game's gonna be fun. A lot of action, like I said. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. And also click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. Let's get into the game, shall we? And I will be playing the PC version of this game with keyboard and mouse. This game is also compatible with an Xbox 360 controller. I think it may also be compatible with an Xbox One controller as well, if you have it. Because it, both of those work on the PC. Anyways, let's get to it.
lost count of my drops. The in-flight stairs do nothing, they just make me remember. This is my favorite part. Makes me feel like a kid again. Three seconds to drop first recon. Godspeed. The arms started this war, but Section 8 is going to finish it. And here we are, guys. Section 8. What did you think about that cutscene there? Was that pretty cool? And the name of the ship as well. Anyways, let's get into the game, shall we? Hope you guys enjoy. I may not talk a lot during this game play as well, because I will be in focus mode at some points, and I will not be able to talk and play at the same time while focusing, because when I get into a game, I don't really talk very much. But there will be times where I will talk, though. But anyways, let's get into this. Here it is. There is used to be multiplayer at one point using Windows Live and Xbox Live as well on the Xbox 360. And then you got the instant action. You have a story mode, drop ship, your settings. There's the Xbox Live button, if it would still work, actually. I'm surprised it's not working anymore, but you could still play it offline, though. And yes, the game did have downloadable content as well. It did have DLCs and stuff. Let's check out the dropship. So the dropship has loadouts, achievements, awards, rank stats, leaderboards, credits, and unlock codes. Customized loadouts, assault, engineer, infiltrator, recon, guardian, and artillery. Not bad. And with that, change your weapon there, change your equipment, and modules. Got different types of you got different types of weapons: assault rifle, machine gun, missile launcher, pistol, shotgun, and sniper rifle. This game may also have vehicles as well. I don't know. I may have to see that see about that part. I haven't got there yet. I think there might even be space battles in this game. I don't know. Achievements. The achievements for all career, campaign, combat, and tactical.
And now for the settings. You got your control settings, video settings, audio settings, HUD settings, and multiplayer settings. Like I said, this game is compatible with an Xbox 360 controller or Xbox One controller on PC. I'm pretty sure it will still recognize it anyways. Get out. Now let's go to Corey's story. New campaign. Invasion point. Operation first contact. Communications have been lost with the colony of New Madrid. The 8th Armed Infantry Division has been sent to investigate. You have a difficulty settings as well. Easy, medium, and hard. If you want to go for hard mode, go for it. If you want to go for medium, go for it. I'm going with easy so I can enjoy the story. Let's get into this. And just so you know, this also is my first time I ever played this game since I did play the demo of this game when it first came out, by the way. Yeah, it had a demo at one point for the Xbox 360. It, it was called a trial or something like that for the Xbox 360. Let's get in there. This is USIS Utah under heavy fire. Our ships are almost gone. Wave one is under direct assault. All ships, evasive maneuver Delta. Give the sky cranes cover. Texas acknowledges. Evasive maneuver Delta confirmed. Second armor breaking off. LZ is too hot. Repeat. Approach aborted. First recon. Knock out those orbital defenses now. Roger that command. We're inbound to target LZ. First recon. Set. We're dropping into heavy fire. No air brakes. Get to the ground as fast as you can. Drop zone in five. Godspeed. Shields offline.
friendly damage.
depots automatically repair and resupply you. You may also change your loadout at supply depots. Let's 
knock out these guns and regroup with the rest of the squad. Affirmative. Destruction confirmed. At least one other capacitor still remains in the area. traffic indicates armed forces are led by Commander Soren, formerly of the U.S. Imperial Forces. Soren and his units were reported MIA 14 months ago during a classified reconnaissance mission. Is one of ours? Used to be. If we can bag him, maybe we can start getting some answers. Keep an eye out for Deke in Ireland. for immediate evac.
friendly damaged. Wow, that was tough. Hope you guys enjoyed that action. Private Cord, reporting is ordered. Cord, being in the 8th Armored means being on the front lines of high-risk missions. Losing good men is a part of that. Sir. But those that make it back do so for a reason. For your role in this last operation, we're promoting you to the rank of Corporal. Congratulations, son. Thank you, General. I'd like to introduce you to your new squad leader, Sergeant Blackburn. He served with Sergeant Hawthorne and has specifically requested this post. Cold. Joining you two are Specialist Reyes, Heavy Weapons, and Specialist Graves, Engineer. Sergeant Blackburn, I'll brief you on your next objective once you're airborne. You heard the general. First recon. Let's get moving. Sergeant Blackburn. Command needs you to recover sensitive intel from the crash site of the USIF Utah. To mask your approach, you'll Warning. need to disable Friendly three damage. armed sensor terminals. Affirmative, General. Black Ben out. Cold. I've uploaded the coordinates to your hut. Tight point. The rest of you are on fire support.
So, what do you think of this game? Did you enjoy it? Is it worth getting? Is it worth buying? Is it worth playing? Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever played this game before? Have you ever owned this game before? So many questions to ask. Just answer them in the comments below. Or you could just answer them on your own way when you're watching, you know? There's actually people out there that don't even know about this game or even remember about this game because this is a forgotten game now. As, I, as like I said, it's been delisted off of the Xbox Store and it was on Steam at one point, but not anymore. Anyways, um, I'm Stormstriker69. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the various to click that subscribe button, and also click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. Make sure to check out CD ROM's videos. Starman's videos, my videos, Mr. Fulcrum's videos, and Jimmy Fire's videos as well. See you guys next time.